Hello and welcome to the CPU Galaxy channel. Today we have a tutorial where I want to show how to desolder CPUs and parts from scrapped PCBs for your collection. Yeah, here I got some nice parts which I could recently save from recycling at a local scrapyard. Those two nice alpha CPUs which are unfortunately soldered to this PCB. So actually I want to get them out of the PCB as easy as possible to add this beautiful ceramic chip to my collection. And here we have an old 386 board where I want to get this 386 CPU off. Yeah, of course these desoldered CPUs are not meant to get used anymore in any setups. They are at the end just for displaying purposes and to satisfy the addiction of a CPU collector to add something to the collection. Yeah, so what do we need for our small project here? Uh, a heat resistant surface, some metal parts which should act as a distance holder. Here I will take two old heat sinks, uh, some basic stuff like screwdrivers, pliers, and of course a just common hot air gun. So I got here a pretty cheap one without any temperature regulation. We just need to heat up the board to about 220 centi degrees and not more. So this process here is not useful for any repairing. It's really just meant to get parts off from a PCB. Such a hot air gun is just fully forcing heat to a surface and of course it is destroying also small parts around on the PCB. So for repairing purposes you would need a much more fine and accurate equipment. Yeah, so the plan is to put these two uh, heat sinks as a distance holder, place the PCB on the top and heating up uh, the surface on the back side of the PCB um, to get the CPU off. So uh, my idea is, so actually this ceramic uh, substrate with all this uh, heat spreader here is very heavy and my plan is to heat up this area until the, the solder is, is, is melting and yeah, due, due to gravitation um, I expect that the CPU will just fall out automatically of the PCB. So then let's see if this is going to work. So this is just one example how to desolder stuff like that. Let me know in the comments how you are doing this. It's important to heat up the whole area equally and so therefore you should move around the air gun around the solder pins. There is a screwdriver. You can check on the other SMB parts here if you reached already your target temperature. And yes, and suddenly after a while the pins are disappearing into the holes. That means the CPU wants to come out but stuck a little bit still into the hole. So I have to help here a little bit. Yeah, and here we go. So we got it off nicely. I had to help a little bit with a screwdriver, uh, but yeah, uh, nicely out of the PCB. So don't touch this. This is still very hot. So let's let it cool down a little bit to check how it looks like. So this turned out to work very good. We got this CPU out of the board without any bent pins and most of the solder stayed in the holes of the PCB. Yeah, here we have also some uh, capacitors and resistors which got also desoldered as I mentioned before that this will happen. A nice result and we got here a nice collectible CPU. Uh, actually also to mention in between this is an alpha CPU made by Samsung 21264A with 667 megahertz. The next one our 386. Here it's a bit easier, just heating up the whole area and waiting until I can grab the CPU with the pliers. Now this was an easy job and we have here again an additional piece for my collection. But before I will throw this board away, I also have to save these nice UV EEPROMs. With a razor plate it's easy to remove the old stickers and with some alcohol you can get rid of the remaining glue to let them shine.
My self-made chip removing tool, a Benz small screwdriver, helps me to get these chips easily out of the sockets. I hope this video was interesting for you and will help you a bit if you need to desolder some parts. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, have a good time and see you again soon.